Hey guys, uh, my name is Philly. I work at Coffee Doctors in Hornsby. So we're gonna go through everything step by step, super simple, super easy on how to get your coffee going. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna purge our machine. That is just gonna clean it up for us so that it's nice and ready to go. Then we're gonna grind our coffee. Then we're gonna weigh it tamp it so make the pressure on it so that it's a nice puck extract our espresso shot steam our milk and then pour it all together in a cup once your machine is on and ready to go we just want to purge it so all you have to do press any button to get the water coming out have it on for about three to five seconds turn it off and then it's clean and ready to go for today so once you've purged your coffee machine you're now ready to start dialing in the beans this is something that a lot of people struggle with initially and don't really know how to set up properly. So I'm gonna to explain to you guys in really simple terms how you can set this up to get the best espresso shot. Grab your grip handle. If you've got scales, feel free to use them. Tear them to zero. For this specific basket, I'm using 21 grams of coffee. For general at-home coffee brewers, you can use anywhere between 15 to about 22 grams of coffee. It should tell you how much to use on your machine guide. So once you've got zero grams, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna grind our coffee into the basket. So I've got my grinder here. Perfect, we'll see how much we've got there. So 18 grams, I need to do a little bit more into it. Perfect, we've got our 21. So now that you've got your coffee, we're gonna tamp it. Tamping is pretty simple, but there is a couple of little things that you can do to help yourself out. So grab your tamper. This one is just the one that came with the machine that I've got. You wanna put it somewhere within the middle of your palm. Grab your silicone mat if you've got one. If you don't have one, you can use a towel on the bench. Pop your grip handle down with your thumb and pointer finger on either side. You wanna feel the edges of the group basket. Push using your elbow upwards, down, firmly, and have yourself a lovely tamped coffee puck. So after you've tamped your coffee, you can even leave the tamp in there just to check the level really quickly to make sure it is even. You don't want your tamp on a slant at all. Once you've got lovely even tamped coffee, you're ready to do your extraction. So you wanna do, Pop it in, make sure it's locked in tight. Press your double shot if that's what you're making. Grab your cups underneath and just let the coffee flow. So we are doing a 30 second extraction. That will give you really delicious espresso. Once you've got your espresso, you're ready to move on. Grab your group handle firmly, pull it out. Purge it again, just like we did before we made the coffee, about three to five seconds. Grab your coffee puck, dump it in your bin. Give it a little bit of a wipe on the inside. And then you're ready to go again for the next one. What I'm gonna show you is the easiest way to get your milk jug on the right angle for steaming milk. If you have an automatic milk steamer on your machine, which a lot of new Breville machines do, you can override that by pulling out your milk wand and steaming it manually. I would 100% recommend for you to do that if you are up for the challenge of steaming milk. Your froth will be much better for it. You've got your steam on 45 degree angle, complete contact with the milk jug, out halfway, across a quarter, either way works. Out halfway, across a quarter, the other way, and that is gonna give you the rotational push to get your milk spinning when you're steaming it. Once you've got the angle of your milk jug down, you next are ready to fill your jug and get the temperature going. So to fill your jug, as soon as you see the spout coming out of the jug, you can go about a centimeter or two above or below where the spout starts, and that is your safe level for milk steaming. For the temperature, if you've got a thermometer, use it. It will be your best friend in this situation. Its prime is about 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. That means you wanna stop foaming it 
about 50 to 55 degrees Celsius. Milk will continue to rise in temperature for a little bit after you've stopped the steam wand going. Fill up the jug until it's just about where the spout starts and then get your placement going for the milk. So you got it out and a quarter and then you're ready to start steaming your milk. What you want to do is you want to start the milk steaming process with the tip of your steam wand below the surface of the milk. That way you are the one controlling how much aeration you're getting in there. You can hear the little aeration as I'm steaming here to get the foam happening. Most importantly, whilst you're steaming your milk, the end of your spout and the steam wand should stay in contact. So the spout and the steam wand is like your train and train tracks for milk steaming. So you can just see that we're gently adding a little bit of air in to the milk. So it's not excessive. It's not going to overdo it. Stop it once it gets to about 55 degrees Celsius. And then your milk should be beautifully steamed. Awesome, so now you know how to make your coffee at home, get your espresso going. With the milk, don't be hard on yourself. It is probably the hardest thing about being a barista. If you wanna practice without wasting liters of milk, feel free to use water and soap. It'll give you very similar consistency to milk and you can go over and over and over again until you've got that rotation, those beautiful micro bubbles and foam going. If you are still unsure, got a couple of questions, you can check out the brew guide on our blog post at www.coffeedoctors.com. We have heaps of information and tools there for you guys to understand a little bit more in depth what you're doing. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Enjoy the coffee. The best one is the one that you like. Cheers.